Hello guys, I'm Batdan16 PS3, and welcome back to episode number two, or well, technically one and an extra bit, of my new Grid Auto Sport series. As this is a new series, I figured I'd introduce it with a double header, two videos on one day. Just to sort of get into it so you don't have to wait a week for the uh, <coughs> second part of this career mode of this first event. So. You're getting two videos today. This is the second of them. The first one went up. I don't know how long ago because I haven't put it up yet. But uh hope you enjoyed it. I hope my driving wasn't too terrible for you. Um, since recording that video and recording this one, I actually went and had a little bit of practice because I didn't feel like this car was anywhere near good enough. It turns out the Ford is the shittest car ever. I tried a bunch of different cars. I uh, tried a Honda Civic. I tried... Yeah, I know I'm 12th. I'm miles down. I tried a Volkswagen Golf R. Uh, BMW Mini. It turns out that this car is shite. And this time I'm actually going to qualify. I have also tried out a couple of tracks, although I tried this one going forwards. Turns out this one is it backwards. Hadn't planned for that, but yeah, this was one of the tracks that I'd practiced on. Turns out my practice is going to be for fuck all, because it's backwards. Not what I wanted. Who I'm first so far. And I bet I'm like the first guy out on track. Because that would make sense for this car. I even dropped the difficulty down just for my practice run so that I could try and get used to cars. It turns out the AI is a bitch on easy too, so it's not just medium. The AI is just a bitch. Just what I wanted. No, I'll drop down a second. So I get three attempts at it, so plenty of time to improve. Fifth. I swear this car is the worst handling ever. Just so understeery. I'm first going through that first sector again. It's just this part of the lap that hates me. You were slow through sector two compared to the lap leader. I'm so used to taking that hairpin going the other way. So obviously this is another Formula 1 track, and the hairpin, the track is reversed, so the hairpin goes the other way. Wow, I'm just dropping further and further back. This is terrible. We're going to qualify like 16 out of 16, I'm already 13th. Come on, last Completely missed the breaking point. Crap. Second going through that one this time. Get back on the track, you more. This lap is slower than the first two. I can tell just by the damn pointy arrows. I'm not going to improve. So the second lap will be my best run. I 
Eighth. Distinctly average. Now let's see how far backwards I go in the race. Four laps. So I got a chance to be last then. You're in position eight and your teammate is fifteenth on the grid. Wow. And the guy I need to beat is a place in front of him, so that's good I suppose. Whoopsie Daisy. Missed that breaking point completely. Nice indent of my front bumper on what was his rear bumper, it's just fallen off. And around he goes. T. Oh, it's so hard to get your braking right when there's other cars on track and I've damaged my steering. track as well, that would be lovely. Why do people ha feel the need to turn into me and push me off the track and then I lose a bloody place for it? Codemasters and their awesome penalties again. Arsehole. So those places that I just gained back, I just lost again. And I didn't mean to press that button. I'm going to press that one. You're off the pace after the first lap. Chase down the back. I know I'm off the pace. I keep getting punted. And screwing up my braking point. Something awful. How did I go over the white line there? Sorry guys, I'm going to have to pause this because my cat has taken it upon itself to sit on top of the table that I've got my steering wheel set on and I can't see the bloody telly. Ooh, teammate, can't hit him, can't hit him, can't hit him, but he'll hit me. And I did it again. Oh dear. Oh, that's fine, mate. Use me to stop yourself from running off the track, you fucking arsehole. I need a beat as well. Thought it'd be easy if I fucking qualified in front of him. Then I realised I go backwards. Because his car is an absolute pile of wank. There goes my teammate. Final lap. Let's try and get this corner right, shall we? There we go. Let's 
car just has no steering and then all of a sudden the tail decides to slide off. It's the most frustrating car ever. Past me, pal, so just piss off. <sighs> well, that was annoying. Going backwards again. You're ahead of your teammate in the driver standings. Woo! I'm still 12th, though. At least we moved off the bottom of the team leaderboard. Second race, reverse grid, so I should be fifth. Sixth. You're in position six, and your teammate is third on the grid. Good, let's see me not catch him. So look how slow this thing is. That was with a much better start than I normally have. I gained a place, only to be nudged off. Nearly. And then smashed. Wrong button. I'm so used to rear view being friggin' triangle that I keep hitting it. It's hitting the flashbacks. That's fine, pal. Just use me as a f friggin' barrier. My turn. Get away. Get away. Don't trust you. Normally, I'd do anything to avoid hitting AI drivers, but it seems like I'm a magnet for them on this game, so it's nothing but bashy bashy. stability control off because it's bogging me down in corners which is a problem. Let me do that now. Off. Off. I need to restart the event. Cancel that. Leave it as is. Just gonna have to live with it for another two laps. Come on, there's a girl in front of you, just try and catch her. is a bloke named Hannah. There's a car off, there's a car off, yay! That was my teammate. Damn it. I'm almost on the podium. Ah, 
and penalty for going off the track. Standard fair. No, I'm just going to sit here and be happy with fourth, aren't I? Fucking invalid. That's something I don't miss in Grand Turismo 6, the bloody race engineer. Bastard doesn't know what the fuck he's on about half the time. Ah, fuck off, Raven West bastard. Gandalf said, you shall not pass. Let's go looking for it again, but you ain't getting it. They were driving BMWs, that's why they're kicking my ass, the Raven West people. Stuck in a crappy Ford. Woohoo! I beat my event rival. And I actually went forward. We haven't made the team target. Next season, we need to go for it. Haven't made the targets. Oh well. Set the fastest lap in a race event. Complete a race event without collision. Eh. That's never going to be achieved, a race event without collisions, only if you're on the track by yourself. Still, got four out of six. 5,900 experience. End of season one. See what offers you get for the upcoming season. Make sure you check out the And I didn't complete either of those targets. Team offers before committing. And another trophy! Awards ninth. Yay. I think for time saving purposes, I'll complete each event once. And then if there's time, like if this series doesn't take a huge amount of time, which I doubt it won't because it, there's five tiers and there's god knows how many events in each one. I'll go back and complete them, but that's something I could also easily do off camera, so that's not a problem. Take a look at your team offers. By completing the team target, you make yourself a desirable prospect for bigger teams. And next episode, I shall attempt the Ibex Springs League Touring Car League. It's got three events, one cup, and there's two offers for me in it. So that's next week. Uh, hope you enjoyed the little double header this week. Uh, sorry this episode was a bit short. I'll say that, but it's 18 minutes, so that's not really short at all. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next week. <laughs>